welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna show you how to glow first I'm gonna use my own brand Meraki Cosmetics loose highlighters for this tutorial so if you want to know how to glow like a goddess then keep on watching okay so as you can see I almost did everything of my makeup I only need highlighter and also some lipstick as I said I'm using my own brand Meraki Cosmetics I created 15 shades of loose highlighters of which are four color shifters so I have a pink a blue a peachy one and a green one then I also have five bronzy shades for dark to deep dark skin and I have six for fair to medium skin tones there is definitely a shade for everyone I will link my website and also a coupon code down below for today I'm gonna use Cbel because I also use it on my eyes because they are pure pigments so you can use them however you like because I applied a lot of powder I want to melt that in with the rest of my makeup so I'm going to use this morphe continuous setting mist you can honestly use any fixing or setting spray. I also really like the MAC Fix Plus. And I'm just going to spray this all over my face to really melt my makeup that I have on right now together. So my loose highlighters don't need any base, but they definitely stick better if you apply a little bit of fixing mist to your face or even liquid or cream highlight before you apply them. So for today I'm going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. I don't always do this, but I really want to show you guys an intense highlight today, so therefore I'm going to do it. And this product is more of a putty, so I use my Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F, uh, F03. And I use this because it has dual fiber bristles. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm pressing a little bit harder than you would think you need so that you will pick up enough product. I grab my little mirror, and where I went wrong before is that I applied my highlighter right here, but this is not the highest point of my cheekbone, it's a little bit below that. It's over here instead of here. So I'm just going to apply to the highest point of my cheekbone and I'm just brushing over my skin really really lightly so I don't disturb the makeup that is underneath it. And I'm just going to tap that in with my finger. So if you don't know where the highest point of your cheekbone is, look in the mirror like from the side and then you can see where the highest point is and it is right over here. I'm also going to apply a little bit to the cupid's bow, just a little bit to the chin. So I like to apply my highlighter to the center of my forehead because I have a wider, rounder face. But a spot that works really, really well too is above the brows right there. I usually don't apply too much over there, if even at all, because it only widens my face up a little bit. But for today, I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. So I don't like to apply the cream product to my nose because I feel like it accentuates the texture on my nose. I'm only going to apply the powder highlight over it. So once I've done that, I'm going to grab my highlighter. And as I said, my brand is called Meraki Cosmetics. And I'm using the shade Cibel, which is a really nice champagne golden shade. On my cheekbones, I just want to go in with a little bit more of that spray. And just let that dry for a second. Okay, so brush-wise, I really like to use smaller brushes. So this is my favorite brush, the Morphe Y14. You can see that it is pretty small compared to this Morphe M500. So you can really see that it's small. It's almost a bigger version of your blending brush for your eyes. If you want to use a fan brush, you can also do that. But I think this is too big for the loose highlighters. I would definitely go for something smaller like this. This is a certified brush and it comes in a set. You can also use a little bit more of a denser brush rather than a blending brush like that but I would always go for a smaller brush rather than a bigger brush. So my loose highlighters are pure pigment, so they are really, really pigmented, so you don't need much product at all. I always dip in and then tap my brush off so that I have somewhat like this. And now it's time to apply, and I'm gonna start at the center, at the highest point on my cheekbone. You can see that. And then I'm just gonna blend that out. I think it also depends on your face shape if you want to put it all the way back or all the way forward. 
but you should just try and see what you like best. I just like to keep the mane in the center and then blend it a little bit back and a little bit towards the front. And I also really like to blend out the edges. And as you can see, if you work this in, you can really get that mirror-like effect. To do my nose with a smaller brush like this. And I usually apply it to the very tip of my nose like that and then around here to the bridge of my nose and i'm just gonna blend that in with the brush didn't apply any additional product so as you can see this highlight is perfect for me but if i apply a little bit more it will get too dark for me so you can see that i get a more gray cast over here and i'm going to fix that by applying a lighter shade over top and now for the lighter shade i'm using the shade nemesis just applying that to the highest points of the cheek so that is actually it it is super simple all you need to do now is set it so i'm going to use the morphe spray once more If you want your highlight to be even more intense, you can apply some more highlighter right now while it's still a little bit damp and you will get the most insane highlight ever. But I think that this is enough for today. So I'm quickly going to apply my lippy and this is the finished glowy look. So I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please a thumbs up this video. Again, I will put the links to my loose highlighters down below along with a discount code. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!